Hello guys, welcome to Dev Channel. Today I guide you through the process of creating a web service within Visual Studio and C Sharp. For this purpose, we're gonna create a new project as always. And we're gonna go in the web service, uh, the web section, and we're gonna choose ASB.NET Web Application. So let's say we want to make a random number service. And I'm going to choose an MVC template. You can basically go with whatever you want. I mainly create my web service with the MVC template just because later on I can simply add an administration panel or whatever I want to it. But you can choose whatever you want it's because we don't really uh, we don't really use anything of these templates. So when uh, Wishes Studio is finishing creating our project, we are gonna add a WCF, a Windows Communication Foundation or service, which will be used as our web service in this case. So we see everything is fine, we can close this. And right now, well, let's add first our model. We wanna return uh, random numbers. So we're gonna go there. And we're gonna saying we want our number model, which will store, let's say, three different numbers. So make sure that this is public, public, int random number one, and getter and setter. All right, we will make a carbon copy of these and just rename it random number two and finally random number three. All right, that is our number model. And right now we're gonna add our web service itself. So for this purpose, we're gonna go add, we can go to WCF service, but I just want to show you which ones are available. So if you're gonna go here and search for it, you have the option to go for a civil land enabled, a data service, Ajax enabled workflow service. We choose the standard normal service and we're gonna call it number, let's say random number generator service. All right, what we see now is that Visual Studio automatically creates an interface and a dot as we see file. So when we go to the interface, there is basically the place where you define your web service methods. So you see right here, we got a to work, which we're gonna delete. And instead of this, we use our number model, add the using and say, get random numbers. All right, now we do get an error in our SVC implementation because it says the, uh, the interface isn't implemented correctly. So we are doing this right now and we're writing a concrete implementation for the get random numbers method. All right, we can remove the not implemented exception and we're gonna say random. We're gonna create a number object, which is basically our number model. And we're gonna return our number object. And we are filling the number object. Random number first is, uh, is random next. And let's say minus 500 up to plus 5,000. So we so we should see some differences when we call the web service later on. All right, two and three. And guess what? That is basically everything you need to do to create a web service. If you're now hitting run, uh, the WCF desk client from Visual Studio should appear. And 
<laughs> it appears Windows Communication Foundation does climb. Now we should see our get random numbers method from our web service. If we're now gonna go there and hit invoke, we should get our number model return with three different values in the range from minus 500 to plus 5,000. So we're hitting invoke and we're seeing that's correct. Maybe, yeah, now we're getting our some negative values. So that is working. What I like to do always is using SOAP UI because I mean, this dev client is pretty fine for this simple web services. If you're gonna deploy things on an internet information server or somewhere else, I do uh, suggest or I do highly recommend using this tool here. You can go there and add the web service description language, hit okay. And you see there automatically all requests are generated. And if you're gonna go there and execute the request, we do get our results back. RC is working. We got every request, random numbers. So if you're gonna go back, we can say that is basically everything you need to do to provide a simple service. Of course, there are no uh, security going on here. There's no authentication. There is no, there's nothing. There's just a simple service which provides a function to get random numbers function and returning free random numbers. So guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, if you do have any future requests for videos, please let me know and I'll catch you in the next one.